everybody and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you are new here and thank you for joining me for today's video. Today's video I have Fenwick skincare unboxing. I've, I've never shopped with Fenwick before. I think it's kind of like a department store isn't it? Almost I suppose kind of like Harrods or Liberty, some things like that you know what I mean? The reason I have bought my haul with them is because I noticed on my current account card. I don't know if you guys ever look at your rewards that you've got on there, but one of the rewards that came up was 10% cashback when I shop with Fenwick's. So I went on their website and then I realized they also had 20% off their skincare, which is exactly what I was looking for. So I'm basically getting 30% off altogether. So that is why I have bought all of my new skincare from Fenwick. When I opened up, I was also so excited because everything's individually wrapped and it's got stickers on it and it's got nice tissue paper. And yeah, so I really wanted to share this haul with you guys on my channel because I thought it might be quite a good video. I have got quite a few new bits to get through. The reason I've bought quite a lot of new skincare is because last month I went for an advanced facial and this was in London, I had like the best time. I'll leave the vlog down below because I did actually vlog myself. I went for a solo trip to London because of this facial. And yeah, I just had such a great time. But anyway, the lady that was doing my skincare basically told me of things that I should use, things that I should avoid. And I realized that I've been using a few products that maybe aren't that good for my skin. And also there's some products that I don't have that could be really good for my skin. So yeah, that is why I am going to be unboxing all of this skincare today. My skin is aging because I'm 32, so it's naturally aging skin. It's also becoming a little bit dehydrated because of the kind of aging. I feel like the wrinkles and the change in my skin and me getting older has made the skin a little bit more dry but I still have a very oily t-zone and I'm still acne prone so I have a mixture of things going on so I'm trying to tackle lots of different things. When I was younger the acne was quite bad I did have a, lots of breakouts on my skin I had breakouts all over my back and what it's done is it's scarred my face and also I find now that if I get one individual spot it doesn't just come and go it will stay with me for probably two weeks to a month and that's what happens it's staying for so long so it's scarring so I've got some products to tackle that as well anyway let's get into opening them up oh also they had free gifts as well so I'll show you guys what free gifts that I got <gasps> Okay, so the first thing that I've picked up are these complexion pads and these are from the brand Higher Education. I've never bought anything from this brand before but I wanted some salicylic acid pads which are going to help target my oily and acne prone skin. They have 2% salicylic acid in them and it says that they will minimise pore size and they'll treat br breakouts and remove blackheads. Um, now these were actually in the sale and I also still got 20% off them which was amazing. Um, so I think originally they were supposed to be 25 95 that's what the little label says on them. But I'm pretty sure I only paid £12 for these pads. You get 60 in here. It says they are sulfate free, cruelty th free, paraben free, vegan, dermatologist approved, nut free, gluten, clean and safe. So they have a lot of good things about them. But yeah, basically I just wanted a complexion pad that I can use when I feel like my skin's going to be breaking out. I think these pads will also keep my skin very clean and hopefully keep the breakouts at bay. The next thing that I picked up is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Now I'm really hoping that this doesn't break me out. That's why I have only bought the 15ml one because I just wanted to try it out. But I really love the idea. This is a very rich moisturiser um, but it also works as a base for makeup because I do generally wear makeup every day. And I feel like a lot of people rave about this product so I wanted to see if my skin liked it. It might be too rich for my skin but it says that it's rich without feeling greasy. Signature all-in-one primer plus moisturiser and it contains blends of vitamin B, C and E and replen replenishes the skin with a moisturising complex of hyaluronic acid, squalane and shea butter. Uh, creates a smooth base with flawless makeup application apply to skin morning and night now reading that I've just read that it's got vitamin C in it which is a product that actually the lady recommended that I don't use anymore so <laughs> but I <laughs> I don't think it's not like it's a vitamin C product it's probably got a very small amount of vitamin C in it so we'll see if I can handle that amount um but yeah this could be too rich for my skin it could break me out but this was one of those products that I wanted to get because I've got that aging skin I really want to have that rich moisture to get rid of the dehydration Look how gorgeous the little packaging is as well. But yeah, this is quite a tiny one. And I believe this is quite expensive as well. So that's why I didn't want to buy 
the full size one just in case I didn't get on with it. How lovely that they individually wrap everything as well. But the next thing that I picked up is this product from Kiehl's. This is the Rare Earth Deep Pore Daily Cleanser. Um, it's got Amazonian white clay in it and it exfoliates and detoxifies. Now I'm not going to use this product every day because I use my Fenty face wash every day and that's a very gentle face wash that also removes makeup and my skin just seems to love it. I've used it for months and months and I've never found that it breaks me out. I find that it must be other products that break me out because that's something that I use every day. And just recently I'm still using it. I've stopped other products and I'm not getting breakouts. So I don't think I'll ever stop using that cleanser. Although when I do get a random breakout, I do feel like I need something a little bit more deep cleaning than the Fenty one. So I think when I go in for my second cleanse, I'll use this one, but only when I can feel a breakout coming or if I feel like my skin is a little bit congested. But it does say apply this formula every morning uh, and or night, clean fingertips, gently massage onto damp skin, circular motions and rinse thoroughly with lukewarm water. Uh, but it says it's formulated specifically for normal to oily skin types to purify and thoroughly cleanse. Our non-stripping foaming formula contains Amazonian white clay particles to gently remove surface debris, toxins and oils which can enlarge the appearance of pores. So it's obviously making a lot of claims. I am very much looking forward to trying it. But yeah, I think I just I just don't want to use it every day, you know. So I'm going to maybe I'll do alternate days and use this one day and the Fenty another. I don't know. I just don't want to give up on that Fenty cleanser because I love it. But this one, just get a little bit out. Oh, okay. So it is white in colour and it says this is foaming. So it almost comes out like a clay. Oh, it has a very, very slightly grainy texture to it. I wouldn't call it a scrub, I would just say it has a very, very slight grain to it. Um, which is nice because I would never use a full-on scrub on my face. That literally breaks me out instantly. So I do not like using facial scrubs. If I want to exfoliate the skin on my face, I always use a kind of chemical exfoliant rather than an actual physical scrub. But that feels nice. Also, if any of you guys have used any of these products, uh, let me know what you think of them. And if you've got a similar skin type to me, let me know if I should be using them or shouldn't. I don't know. We're we're changing it up a little bit and we're going to see how we go. So the next product I've got is this one from Clarins. Now in the facial that I went to, she actually used something like this on me from her, their own brand of the clinic, but it was very, very expensive and well, it was £140 for a little tiny bottle of stuff. And I just thought, oh, even though my skin is so important to me and I want it to look great, I don't know, slightly out of my price range. I think I just wouldn't spend that on it. But what it was is it was a blemish clearing lotion. So she popped a cotton bud into it and then she just dabbed the cotton bud onto my active breakouts because you have to use it on active breakouts and then it basically dries them up overnight, which it did. The next morning, all of the active breakouts had all kind of come to a head and they were dry and they just disappeared very quickly. So it was definitely something that I wanted to incorporate into my skincare routine because what that means is if I can get rid of those breakouts quick, then they shouldn't scar. So yeah, I found this one on Fenwick and this one is by Clarence. It's called the Pure Reset Target Targeted Blemish Lotion. And this should have the salicylic acid in it as well because that's the main thing that you want to try and get rid of the blemishes. But this is what it looks like. It's a tiny little pot of lotion, very liquidy, but it's double layered. So you have the lotion at the bottom and then it has this liquid on the top, which I think is kind of like the chemical exfoliator. So you dip your cotton pad in there and you literally just put it on active breakouts. As soon as you feel them coming through from under the skin, that's when you want to dab this on them and it should dry them up quite quickly and get rid of them. So yeah, I picked up this one. I think this was about £17. All of these prices are before the discount, but I'll leave everything linked down below anyway so you can easily find it. But I do think this will be a great addition to my skincare routine. The one that she used though, I think it's very, very highly potent because when she put it on my skin, you could feel it burning and it was just such a good feeling. It just felt like she was burning the spots away, which sounds horrific, but actually feels good. Okay, have another package to unbox here. Okay, so I have quite a few bits from The Ordinary. I always loved using The Ordinary products. I love how simple they are. I love how clear the ingredients is. 
and they tell you exactly what each product's going to do for your skin. So I have four, well, two of them. I did buy two of them because they're on offer, so I thought, why not? So the first thing that I've got here is the Retinal 0.2% Emulsion. This is a new product out, I think. I've always used their 2% Retinal, but this one, it says, is more potent than the old one. So it says that if you're used to using Retinal, then you can move on to this one, which I am. I have used Retinal for a couple of years now. So I feel like my skin could take it to the next level, you know? Apply a pea-sized amount to a clean, dry face and neck in the evening. Um, avoid the eye contour area. It says start with a weekly application and gradually increase to twice a week and then a few days apart. I might do that then, just in case. And then you have to apply moisturiser afterwards. And then if you're ever using retinol, you definitely want to be making sure that you're putting SPF on your skin the next day. So this is what it looks like inside. You get 15 mil in here. So because there's only 15 mil, I did end up buying two of these so that I had a little bit of stock for when this one runs out. And especially where it was all on offer as well, I thought I might as well get two of them. Um, I really like the bottle as well. And that's so easy to take away with you and travel with. It just has a little pump. Let's see. Oh, okay. It's very rich in the yellow colour, which shows me that it has a lot of active ingredient in it. I'm very excited to use this, but oh my goodness, look at the colour of that. Feels nice and it goes into the skin instantly, which is really great because then on top of this, you want to be just putting a moisturiser right on top of it. Okay, next up, I have this product from The Ordinary. This is the Alpha Arbutine. 2% and it also has hyaluronic acid in it. So it's good for hyperpigmentation and dark spots. And I just thought, oh, this might actually help me with the acne scar again because it is, well, even though they're red spots, it's, they sort of turn dark. So this one says, apply a few drops to the face in the AM and PM. I need to check that I can use this with retinol at the same time. As part of your skincare regime, uh, use sun protection in the morning. This one had really good reviews though. It's clear, but it's kind of like, it's not too watery. It's almost a bit like a thick, watery gel. Oh, that does feel really nice. Oh, I think that's good because it's got the hyaluronic acid in it. So it has a very, very plumping, smooth texture to it. Oh, I think I'm gonna really enjoy that one actually. I can already feel it's just added moisture back into the skin. But then if it targets the dark spots as well, then that's amazing. Okay, next up from The Ordinary, I also have their Milky Toner. Now, I wasn't quite sure about this one. It just had good reviews though, and I really wanted to try it. But um, I have got quite a lot of toners that I'm already trying to use up. So I don't know why I bought this. I think also I just got drawn in by the packaging. Look at it. I just love it. And just the milky texture of the toner. So this one is called... Oh my God, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name. But it is their, the Ordinary Milky Toner, a gentle exfoliating toner with yeast ferment technology. So I really like this because it's exfoliating, but it's not grainy, if you know what I mean, like I was saying earlier. Um, it says apply in the morning and evening, apply to the face and neck using a cotton pad or your fingers, do not rinse off. So I'm hoping that I can use this one in the evening because I'm going to be using those pads in the morning which are kind of going to act a little bit like a toner so i might use this one in the evening i just need to double check that i can use it alongside retinol it has like a little dropper on the top here let's just see what it comes out like Ooh, it is just like milk oh it literally looks like i've just poured milk on my hand but I am very, very excited to try that one out. If I don't have the most young looking glowy skin after all these products, then I'm just gonna give up. Okay, the last thing I've got to show you is from Cordely, and this is their Vino or Vino Pure, um, and this is another salicylic acid product, and it is the salicylic spot solution. So um, I have several obviously spot targeting products here, but this one I wanted to use for when they're really, really red um, because this one's actually green in colour. So you can use it underneath your makeup and it will actually colour correct the spot. So it will treat the spot with the salicylic acid that's got in it. But then on top of that, it will colour correct it. So then your makeup should go in quite nicely over the top. It's a small little tube like this. You've got 15 mil in here. Um, I just want to show you the colour of it so you can see what I mean. Oh, it's got a nice metal end to it and there is the product there so you can see that it's green so yeah basically as you rub that into the spot it will make it look a little bit less red and should hopefully help oh wow 
Oh my god, that smells good. It smells like mint. Oh, it smells very clean as well. Nice. I'm excited about that product. So I have a lot of spot products here. The main things that I've kind of done to my routine is I've got rid of vitamin C and I'm adding in salicylic acid. Um, and I'm also upping my retinol to try and get rid of the scarring. So that's the kind of changes that I've made. Oh, the free gifts. Right, let's go through all the free gifts here because these are amazing. So they actually had on the free gift range, you could choose well, you could choose up to four, and they had all of the Charlotte Tilbury fragrances on there. They are sample sizes, but you can actually buy the sample sizes fragrances from Charlotte Tilbury. I can't remember how much it is for all five. I feel like it's something like £20, something like that. It's definitely expensive to buy the samples, but they are literally giving the samples as free gifts in Fenwick. So yeah, really excited about that. So I picked up the Joyphoria one, the Love Frequency one, and the Cosmic Power one. I already use and love the Calm fragrance from Charlotte Tilbury. That's my favorite one. And I did actually buy that one. But yeah, I thought it'd be nice to try out some of the other fragrances here. I think they are one mil each. Oh, they're 1.5 mil each. And then I also picked up this fragrance here, which I've never heard of this brand before, but this was actually a five mil fragrance freebie. So that's why I got it because it's a good size. By the brand called Toka, 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 I don't know. I've never heard of it. And the fragrance is called Cleopatra. It says it's powerful, seductive, and exotic. So let's give this one a spritz. I don't want to spray the Charlotte Tilbury ones because I have literally only got 1.5 mil of them. Oh, look at this. That's so cute, it's tiny. So I don't wanna get through them. But this one, we'll give it a go. Oh, okay, it's got no pump on it, it's just a little jar. It is glass. Oh, okay. I don't know, it's not something I'd normally go, oh my God, everywhere. It is a very seductive, deep fragrance. It's quite sweet, um, but also it has very deep, woody, earthy tones to it. And it's very strong. I literally only put that tiny bit on and it's yeah, very strong in fragrance. I do like it, it's, it's very rich smelling though. I'll definitely use it up, I don't dislike it, but it's not my absolute favorite. But for a freebie, I'm very happy with that. So that is all of my new skincare from Fenwick's. Um, I've really enjoyed doing this unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. I'll leave everything that I talked about down below. Hopefully by the time this video is out, maybe they're still doing a deal online, but at least you know that they do do deals, so you can kind of keep an eye out for it if you're interested in buying makeup and skincare from there they had an amazing range of makeup and skincare and loads of different brands as well but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're doing very well and i look forward to seeing you in the next video bye